News Storm Team. Welcome back to KX News at 6. Taking a live look at the Magic City this afternoon. Plenty of blue sky behind me. 86 degrees, so a bit of a warm day overall. Seeing that wind out of the southeast, about 15 miles per hour or so. Dew points not terrible, but getting higher over the course of the next few days. Your headlines heading into tonight and the weekend. Summertime vibes continue tomorrow and Sunday. Hot and humid, the name of the game. Perhaps a bit of a breezy weekend as well. Some gusts of 20 to perhaps 30 miles per hour over the next two days. Could we see some storms? out towards the east on Sunday. It's possible, but not likely. We'll detail those threats for you. And overall, a big cold cool down coming at the beginning of next week. And now it's time for your fire weather forecast for the weekend. Here's your weekend fire forecast sponsored by Serve Pro. We have a low risk for fire danger really across the board this weekend. Some moderate risks perhaps back towards that southeastern corner, perhaps even down towards Bowman. So keep an eye on that if you're in those areas. But for the most part, should be in good shape if you do some bonfiring or cooking out this weekend. Our overall pattern shows this area of high pressure still off towards our north. Keeping things quite toasty across the board. This low, though, out towards the west and this warm front. A couple of showers as a result up towards the far north. But it's this cold front down across Montana and Idaho. Going to be moving into our neck of the woods as we get into Monday. Much, much cooler for us next week. Here is that temperature trend over the course of the next few days. Tomorrow, quite toasty across the board. Lots of reds and oranges in the 90s for the most part for the first half of the weekend. Same kind of setup for us on Sunday once again. But watch what happens as we move into Monday. Monday. Some of those greens coming in from the north out towards the west. You can see that cold front pretty much right across there. So a sharp cool down as you move into the first half of next week. Bouncing back and forth for a while next week and some cooler readings possibly moving in for Thursday and Friday. Some areas may be in the low 60s as we head into Thursday perhaps of next week. Overall right now clear skies across the majority of the region. Couple of storms trying to form out towards the far west, but for the most part staying in good shape tonight. Temperature wise, we're still sitting in those 80 across the board, a couple of 90s towards the west. Going to be much, much warmer, as I said, as we move into the next few days. Overall, those winds out of the southeast, about 10 to 25 or 30 miles per hour, are so pretty strong out towards the west. And of course, we'll continue to see this breeze for the next 48 hours or so. Looking ahead to tomorrow, probably the warmest day we'll have. Some low 90s for our central areas out towards the west. Some areas down towards Hedinger, perhaps towards the northwest, could get close to 100. We'll see how high we climb throughout tomorrow. Overall, on Sunday, a bit warmer this time, back towards the east. Some 90s likely out towards the west, still sitting in those mid to upper 80s. Again, we do have a severe risk for us on Sunday, back towards the eastern tier of the state. 30 to 40 percent chance right now at best of this happening. But of course, we'll have more details on this as we move further along into tomorrow and again on Sunday. For the most part, tonight staying dry again. A couple of storms possible up towards northwestern or eastern Montana, perhaps up towards Crosby as we move further along into late tonight, early tomorrow morning. But for the most part, staying dry the next couple of days or so. And again, as we get into very late Sunday, early on Monday, some storms possible back towards the eastern tier and some more rain possible as we move through our Monday of next week. And of course, we have that mosquito risk for us the next few days, few days. a very high chance really tonight, really into tomorrow, especially especially and on Sunday because of that high humidity factor and hot temperatures across the board. Our Williston five day forecast looking ahead to tomorrow and Sunday. Very, very warm across the board, especially tomorrow and then just in those mid 70s by the time we roll on into Monday. Dickinson's five day 95 tomorrow, a bit of a breeze the next two days and then some 70s to greet us as we move through the first half of next week. Your Magic City seven day forecast tomorrow 91, just 75 for Monday, 71 for Thursday. Some areas towards the very far north could just be in those 60s on Thursday and overall Bismarck a very warm weekend and a cool start for next week. Kiar? Well, that's the good thing when it gets colder and about winter too is all the mosquitoes and the bugs go to die. So that's my that's favorite really good part thing. about winter here in the Dakotas is no mosquitoes. The we only had them good back thing. Towards the east, so. A killing Certainly. frost will take care of that. It hasn't happened yet. Sooner than later, though, it's coming. Now we've got, for now, I don't want those tomato plants to die, so, <laughs> so we'll hold off on that for now. Thank you, Kenny. Coming up next in sports, football.